Dan Jones is the man in charge Time tonight, on. and it will be JJ Hanrahan back installed to fly half duties, wearing the number 10 that gets us underway. Round seven of the Guinness Pro 14 series underway into that strong breeze, and you saw even from that kickoff how it affected JJ Hanrahan's kick. So Scannell this time goes for CJ Stander. And Kute funnels it back to Scannell. And on they go with James Cronin. And Cronin makes four or five metres in there. Very, very close to that Warriors line. Good option here, good opportunity for Monster. Matthewson, he misses out Scannell. Instead, he goes for Sammy Arnold. A bigger opportunity for Keith Earls if they can hit him. Cronin, and he's helped out by Ryan, and he might just get there. Has he got that going? He has indeed. James Cronin, we played nine minutes on the watch at Dublin Park. And it's Munster's pack of forwards doing all the heavy lifting, and it's James Cronin who gets up to receive the plaudits. Albie Matthewson at scrum half, he brings such energy and such speed to what he's doing, speed of thought, that it adds an extra second of opportunity. That's early. Ball's well, let's go call a little bit early. Free kick Munster are on the short side. They go Sweetenham's there, unavailable for Matthewson. Instead, he kicks it in behind, chasing all the way back to good effect, and here's Rory Jackson. Jackson doesn't get too far before he's hounded down by Niall Scandal. I think it was Fagerson over the top. That's inventive and ambitious, and it may pay dividends because here come Glasgow with those little combinations and horns away here, and he steps on the gas. Can he make it all the way to the corner on this slide? Try that. Yes, he can. It's a try for George Horn, and that is a real shot across the bows for Monster, and that is symptomatic of the ambition and the creativity Captain. of this Glasgow Captain. Warrior side. A Captain. scintillating try from all Just of 70 metres, 80 metres down the pitch. Early balls. Once again, Glasgow Lincoln decide Lincoln. to play rugby deep Wait inside their own half, ignoring the win, but superb interplay by all. Look at the amount of options each ball okay. carrier has, I'll be aware and that was a simple foot play, rush. Okay. But look at Keith Earls working hard again to get back. But it all looked so promising when that uh, free kick hit and Albie Matheson tapped it quickly. Drilled it down along the tram tracks, knowing that the Glasgow back three were in a different position because of the scrum. And all of a sudden... Up it goes from Matthewson. It's coming back towards Keith Earls. That's going backwards off, off the on. Munster winger. Open play. Glasgow ball, George Horn. And now here's Jackson. Good turn of pace and a good angle, and that's a good line from Greg. It's a brilliant line, and it's back inside. He's already got one, and here comes the second from George Horn. And that is fantastic play from the Warriors. Just see there on screen, Sammy Aaron made a big call. Didn't quite land the hit where he needed to land it, and all of a sudden, then Glasgow's offloading. And look at the amount of players swarming around the ball carrier every single time. But when that hit needed... Line. Load up. Set. Patsy against Ryan nearest to us. Ad advantage. Penalty There's another advantage. penalty coming here. And on they go. Glasgow here and they're over. Oh, that's great work again from the pack. And they've got a third try. I think it's going to go to Matt Figerson. To that 25 points to 10 game. They didn't get a bonus point in the second half, having scored three tries advantage. in the first early half go. against Munster. Early. Penalty advantage. There's another penalty advantage coming now as the penalty count tots up. As I said, 26 in the last two matches against Munster. It is a problem. And there's a shot to nothing here. And they will get that bonus point try. Try there. And it is a try. We've had two from George Horn. Now we've got one from Peter Horn. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Brilliantly worked. Yeah, and they are making a big, big statement in Limerick tonight, this Glasgow Warriors side. It looked like a uh, referee indicated it was an early engagement across the line, penalty advantage, but this is a supremely clever use of that advantage. Chipping into a bit of green grass. Grant Stewart missed his tackle on Munster, edging ever closer. Patsy trying to get his hands on kill coin good pass from Matthewson a little bit more width on that one 
Magnificent again. On it goes from Earls to Healy to Wooten and Wooten for the line. Try Monster. And they do get the next score. And with that, Monster are right back in this game. Here come Monster again, surging forward. CJ Standard and they're tackle, acting on in numbers. Tackle. It's coming, it's there it is. Well, it's a little bit slow coming back for Matthewson. What can they manufacture here at close quarters? They have to find something. There it is. Matthewson now. Oh, he's going to go on his own. Can he get there? He has. On the line. The Monster scrum half gets his team right back in this game. And what a final seven or eight minutes we have now. That's brilliant from the New Zealand All Black scrum half. We saw it against Leinster at the Aviva Stadium. And this from even closer range, he backs himself. And that's a great score. Trying just to dislodge the ball, they need to find some way to try and win this back, otherwise the game is gone. To be fair, Munster inching forward. Oh, they're going to get it here! Down. Now they have the wind. Your the wind down, is definitely and he's on his feet. It's a big kick if they go for it. And they have, with the, the law, to change the law, they can't kick to touch, even though the clock will run out. So the penalty was given before the clock ran out. His left foot that will decide whether or not Munster win or lose this game. This is a big call and it is a huge moment. Oh, he got a good contact now. Has he measured it? Oh, that's brilliant! Rory Scunnell wins the game for Munster. And there's a pitch invasion off that Munster bench. It's all over. And Scunnell is the hero in Limerick. What a game. What a finish. What a moment. What a kick.